Hello YouTubers, today I will be bringing you my entry for Psycho Bricks um, Brick Former Contest. This is my first attempt at a Fembot and also my first attempt at G1RC. Uh, I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit. Um, so here we have RC in her vehicle mode and I believe that this is a pretty good representation of it. Um, However, interior-wise, where the seats are supposed to be there, didn't I couldn't really put seats in, but uh, that's all right to me. It still looks good. Um, it does roll, um, and in this mode, I believe, if I get one of his one of her uh, weapons, it should hold them for storage-wise. Oh, it will hold uh, both. If you give me a second, I'll grab her other weapon. So, oops, G1 wise, um, she does have both of her pistols. I dropped this one on the ground while I was trying to get it. Now, if you shimmy it, it should go in about to there. And she can store them in her vehicle mode and they kind of fill in a little bit of there now if you we can take them back out um so one issue i did have was a uh, little bit of gap issue in the back i couldn't really fix that besides putting the weapons back there that's where i was going to store them anyways but it ended up working out uh besides that uh so uh anyways uh, there's not much to it. Let's get into transformation. Okay, so, to transform RC, first things first, we have to pull her legs out from there. They were tucked in between there. Oh, I was blocking it. They were tucked in between there. Um, and then you could take the waist section and pull it out. We can now set her down and work on the feet. So we fold this section up and this piece all the way around. It's like a tooth piece. It kind of gives like her high heels like she had in the cartoon. We can then rotate that around and spin the wheel inward to her thigh. Second verse, same as the first. Make her high heels. Slide the foot up on the T-joint, rotate her leg down, and spin around here. She could stand up potentially right now, but I would like to finish transformation first. So we can untab the arms, they were connected by a jumper plate to the front. And we'll just bring them off to the side for now. We can fold out the hands and just spin the arms like so. I'll fold out the other hand now. Okay, so that section's done. Now we move on to this section up here. This section's a little bit more challenging. Uh, I do have a couple little issues with uh, a few stud connections here, but that that shouldn't worry me too much in the end result. It usually stays together. It hasn't broken yet, or broke. Uh, so we slide these pink tiles up, and that, er, and then uh, we can rotate these side sections up, oh, sorry if that was out of frame, I'll do it in frame on the other side, so rotate these side sections up, like so, and now we have to deal with these wheel pieces, and these are tricky sometimes, uh, I usually not do that. Uh, oops. See, stud connections and whatnot. 
So, rotate the wheel almost all the way, about, one, or about 90 degrees. And then you want to spin the wheel at a whole 180 on its other port. That'll allow you not to break it off, but instead you spin it all the way around. Like so, making it up in the front. Second verse, same as the first. And stud connection wise, the front fell off because of poor connection. That is not my fault. That is because there are two pegs that don't want to stay in here. I'll show you that. Uh, it's right there, those. Uh, it's much more sturdy in robot mode. It's just the transformation. Things fall off. So, keep her head down for now. Spoiler alert, that's her head. Um, we'll come back to the top. Bend this section down. Just enough. So that we can push all these pink uh, tiles uh, downwards kind of gives her like more of a chest area and allows for head clearance I hate that these like to break off so much okay so for the head you have to this is not parts forming you have to unpeg right there that'll slide out on one side flip the head up slide it, rotate it back around and peg that hinge piece back in and then straighten everything out up here and we'll rotate there and there downwards not doing that and see what I'm talking about these pieces right here are getting very aggravating so Right here, these two pegs will tab into this port area here. So we're going to bend back at this ball joint until it practically sits there. And we're going to continue to rotate along until, oh, that should fit right through there, until we can tab it in. Oh, it rotated until we can tab it in there and now everything sits nice and flush and it's all sturdy again and we don't have to worry about things breaking off anymore and now we can adjust the arms upward rotate that down about there rotate up the arms same for the other side Rotate down the shoulder, straighten out the arms. We'll give her a little bit of an ab crunch area. And she should be eligible to stand up now. Okay. And there we have G1RC in her robot mode. And she does have most of her colors accurate to the G1, although some were hindered because this is Lego after all. Um, she does have her uh, like shoulder pieces that were the side of the car in the beginning. And I'll bring in her pistols after I transform them. I don't have to take them apart to transform them. They just do a couple little rotations. Like this just spins around like there and then that breaks off it rotates around and this one rotates up here they fold like that and we can plug them into our hands like so I'll just slide this one in instead of plug it in and there we have RC in robot mode and I think she looks very nice. Oops, sorry. I think she looks uh, very nice in her 
uh, robot mode altogether. Um, she's pretty like structurally sturdy better in this mode uh, than before. I didn't think the high heels were going to work, but she actually stands pretty well with them. Uh, I apologize for how long this video is. Um, I hope the judges like this. Uh, like, subscribe, comment down below. Go check out my Instagram page, KW Lego Formers. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone.